students, today's lab day. And for those of you unable to be in the laboratory in person, I just wanted to offer you the opportunity to examine the specimens yourself. Feel free to pause throughout the, uh, the video here, but uh, I'm gonna quickly go through the 15 unknown rocks. The lab activity in your book for today involves the identification of 15 unknown rocks. And you're gonna be using some of the characteristics and properties identified in your book to help you out. And there will be five igneous rocks, five sedimentary rocks, and five metamorphic rocks. So I'm gonna start by showing you each one here, and I'll give you a close-up view of them as we go over into the laboratory here now. So I'm gonna begin with the igneous rocks. This is igneous rock number one. I'll give you a close-up view. You can feel free to pause if you want to, but uh, think about the various characteristics and properties that we've gone over this week. This, what type of igneous rock do you think it is? I'll give you some hints, intrusive or extrusive. That may help you narrow down your focus in identifying this particular igneous rock number one. All right, we'll move it along here. This one is igneous rock number two. Notice the different shiny particles here. You might call them different crystals. And the sizes are large enough that you can see them. Hint, hint, hint. So check out this is number two. It's actually kind of pretty, kind of pretty. I would imagine this would look really nice if it were polished flat. All right, that was number two. Here is number three. Now, number three might be a little bit more difficult to see, but there are tiny, little tiny air bubbles in here, actually, in addition to these little crystals here. This one is best seen under a stereo microscope, in my opinion. But uh, pretty cool. Check it out. Remember, this is multiple choice in your book. So uh, maybe the process, process of elimination might help. All right, here's number four. Number four. This one is used a lot in building materials, like in the bases of, of roads, for instance. Um, all right, that's number four. We have a lot of, we have a, a mine in New Jersey with those little quarry. Ah, this one is cool. This is number five. Igneous rock number five. Remember last week with heft? I'll tell you what, if you had number four and number five in two different hands, number four, super duper heavy, folks. Number five, super duper light. In, oops, I just put that in the wrong space. In fact, number five, is has such little heft you could even put this in a glass of water this rock in a glass of water hint it floats this is a floating rock read, read the uh, the novel jules verne's journey to the center of the earth and in the original book they make a boat out of a floating rock it's this rock here Bigger than that one, but you get the idea. All right, so those are the five igneous rocks. Let's move now on to the sedimentary rocks. Here is the first sedimentary rock. Check it out. You can see all these fragments kind of glued together here. This is number one sedimentary rock. Ooh, oh, I don't like touching this one. This is number two sedimentary rock. I don't like touching it because it feels like sandpaper to me. It, it's so gritty. Uh, it makes my skin crawl. It's like, it's like uh, emery boards that some people use to file their nails. I, I don't like that feeling for whatever reason. That's what this one feels like. So I'm going to put this one down. Ugh, I don't like the way that feels. 
All right, here is the, the next one. This is number three, sedimentary rock. Here's number three, sedimentary rock. You can see the various layers. If you hold it a certain way, you can really see the layers that make it up. So this is number three, sedimentary rock. Here's another specimen of number three. You can see the layers in number three. Ooh, this one's kind of cool. This one always reminds me of, an, of a Rice Krispie treat, although you would not want to eat this one. But this is number four. In fact, uh, it's in real life, it's a little bit more yellow than it shows on the screen here. But number four, sedimentary rock, if you were to put a drop of hydrochloric acid on it, it bubbles. There's a chemical reaction that occurs when you put some hydrochloric acid on this bugger. You can see bubbles of carbon dioxide gas being produced. So that's number four, sedimentary rock. And that brings us to the fifth and final sedimentary rock, and it's this one here. Maybe it looks familiar to you. Some of you might even heat your homes with this rock. Hmm, hint, hint. But that was sedimentary rock number five. And now the third and final category, or group of rocks. There are five metamorphic rocks, and here's the first one. Very thin layer. They, this one is gray, but they come in other colors too. Uh, some black ones, hint, hint. Uh, red ones. Boy, this one is so flat and smooth you could almost write on it. Number one. Number two metamorphic rock. Look at the layered bands in this one. Um, it's kind of shiny. All these different layers. I, I would say this was, was a foliated uh, metamorphic rock with all of these different layers like leaves on them. Number three. Number three, the layers are quite thicker with this one. This one kind of looks like a nice giraffe, actually. All right, but this is number three. Ooh, number four. Number four, it almost looks like a sandstone, but it's not because it's squished together and it's more crystalline. But this is number four. And finally, that brings us to number five. Here's number five. I could see somebody carving a sculpture out of this one. Number five. Okay. Number five. Here we go. So those are the 15 rocks for you to examine. You can feel free to rewind and pause if you wish uh, with this particular video. Oops, my background is going all amok. But uh, hopefully you were in person. Hopefully you could see this in real life. Otherwise, you could review this at home too. But uh, tomorrow there will be a quiz, so be sure you study rocks for tomorrow's quiz. But until then, don't forget to write your conclusion in the rock identification activity. So until next time, I'll say bye-bye.